at the impeccable training level that I have with my horse. Bell! Come on! Yeah. Literally doesn't even acknowledge my existence. So, that's cool, isn't it? <laughs> Bell, come on! Yeah, it's not going to happen. So, when I asked some of you on Insta what you like seeing in blogs, not just mine, but the general ones, you were like, oh, competitions, you know, everyday life behind the scenes. So, here's a bit of everyday life, everyday winter life. This is our gateway right now. As you can see, mud, as far as the eye can see. I don't know if I tread in this now. It's, can you see that? Yeah, it's horrendous. Um, oh, we've got a little pheasant here. Can you see him? Mm -hmm. There he is. Um, yeah, this is... Um, yeah, this is winter life. Warts and all. I mean, look at that. Our fields of clay. So, uh, particularly horrendous, but... Oh, my God. Oh, you're yeah, beautiful. So we've got the hall. Mm. So I apologise if this is in portrait, but I thought I would pop it in. So as I mentioned, I wanted to give Belle a little quick jump in this other bit before potentially taking it to the competition. However, she was not keen on it anymore. Um, I'm not sure if you're really going to see, but she went like a little pogo stick. Uh... <laughs> really coming back at me in it which um I was quite surprised about actually because she didn't really used to do that before and obviously I had just clipped her and I haven't jumped her in a while so part of it I was thinking mm, is it that but I just know her well and she just doesn't normally come back to me like this I know she, when she gets excited and um, this just felt different to that so I'm very glad that we tried it out but that bit will not be coming with us to the show also apologise that the course walk was in the dark. I don't advise it for anyone, uh, if you think about it. By the way, that jump was clearly not my height. They were all higgledy-piggledy. So, um, yeah, not the best course walk you're going to see in your life. But, you know, at least you've got an idea of what we're going to be doing. But, yeah, in the dark's not the one. Yeah. Hi, girlie. Bye-bye. So you, you can't come out? Yeah. Yeah. Very good on the trailer, aren't you? Morning all, so we are here, I haven't been talking to you very much, we've just arrived, but it was a bit of a rough morning, so here she is, here she is, so we've come with, um, no, not eating yet, <laughs> come with a friend from the yard, it's her first um, time doing it, it's very exciting, we're just going to watch her, we've got Abby ahead of us as well, here we go shortly, we've got a very long wait. Uh, from when we arrive until we're going just because of class time so yeah but in general we're going to be very scruffy and uh, yeah just a bit dirty and gross because um, life just hasn't allowed enough time for baths it was too far too cold yesterday I'd rather Belle is happy than clean so we'll do our best we're just going to be spectators for now and yeah we'll come back in a bit I'm not quite sure what is going on with my phone's audio, but you can't really hear what I'm saying here, but just commenting on what a beautiful day it is. We were just watching and waiting for our friend to start. But yeah, much nicer than last time I was here and no wind, so always enjoy that at Pycombe. Now, our friend that had her first go, she really did not have a good day, bless her. Um, I'm only going to put this tiny little bit in, but... Her little pony Rio was very nappy, ended up bucking her off and poor thing broke her wrist. So I felt so gutted for her. Um, this is our other friend, Abby. She did amazing and had um, a lovely clear round. So really happy for them. And Belle was having a little watch as well. Okay, so we just had a little tea run. The girls are here. The girl is here. Other ponies are there. Hello, ponies. Um, yeah, we are, I'm just going to start slowly getting ready. I've still got about 40 minutes till I need to get on. Um, 
yeah, sadly, one of the girls had a fall at the second after the first bench, which is just so gutting for her. Um, Abby did really well, she went clear, so Billy's a good boy, he's behind. Um, girls looking silly with just one boot, yeah, then gang is over there. But yes, I need to start getting ready, and then hopefully we'll have a nice round. to judge you said you had enough and that you really want to be with me what you get is more than what you see at first you struck me like any other girl that i could find hi all i thought i'd come back in this round with a voiceover please let me know if you actually like this or you'd prefer not to hear me talk through the round but anyway here we are so over fence one and two nicely um just a really nice roll and canter to three. I just want to say overall, even though we don't have a clear round, I am so happy with this round. And I think if you followed me for a while, you will appreciate how nice this round is for us. Um, I mean, we are meeting everything on a beautiful stride, which is not like us, um, especially compared to our last vlog and outing. You would have seen everything. We just had these horrible little sticky strides, a bit like that one, which meant we had that fence down it's that bridge again always the bridge but here we start into the cross country course um but yeah i i'm just so happy with this round even though one of those ones oh on paper it wasn't the best but she just came back to me amazing we're just back in our bit that we normally have um obviously i mentioned trying to change it the night before but just scrap that idea i've cut out this section because you really can't see anything so there's no point um but that was all clear and fine um coming back down the hill nice canter just get a bit keen but just going with it the twists on this course were great um obviously there you can see i get her back but she really listened she locked on to that owl hole again and i was like oh jesus no but managed to get her away from that and um yeah I really felt like I could get her back where I wanted. My main aim for this outing was rideability. And I 100% feel like succeeded with that. Um, the more I watch it back, I do kick myself at the faults that we had. But I'm really, really happy with the rest of the round. Um, we did try into that. Probably didn't need to. But anyway, so I've just changed the angle. The quality's not great, but you'll just see better our little problem here. So... As you can see, Belle just runs out the last second. I took for granted that she, a little bit, that she would do that fence. We have done it a few times now. I felt the slightest, slightest little bit of hesitation in her. But I think, to be fair to me, you can see it was pretty last minute. And even second time getting over, she wasn't super convinced. But I'm quite happy in a way that I felt her waver because it means I'm actually sensing when she might run out now. Whereas before it felt really out of the blue. But I just wasn't on top of her enough to deal with it and then we're just over the last but really happy overall um and yeah one of those days not good on paper but happy in general this or oh, i just added this clip in or kept it in because um this is my non-horsey boyfriend giving bell post show treats for the first time and oh it's just so cute bell was being so gentle as well it was adorable i don't know it's like she knew he didn't know what he's doing <laughs> But, um, yeah, really sweet. But I'm so happy with her. <sighs> Just got home. I'm a little girly. Have a nice roll. Naked roll, can't you? For a second while I sort your stuff out. There you go. Nice. There she is coming. Um, so, yeah, we just had a good, good-ish round. I'm actually pretty happy with it i know that might not make sense but um she felt the most rideable that she has in a while um and that's really probably one of the most important things for me at the moment so um i am kicking myself a little bit at 19 the run out just because that was my fault i felt her like a tiny tiny bit waver and i just thought she'd be okay and i really i should have got on her case a bit more but that so that's why i'm a bit frustrated with that but yeah, that was entirely me. Uh, came around, did it again, fine. I just took for granted that she was going to do it. Um, and then, yeah, just that one down, which is so weird. Nearly, well, 
not nearly every single time we don't go clear that's the fence we have down it's a bridge um it was fence six and i don't know what it is i don't know if she doesn't read it right it doesn't matter where it is in the arena but um yeah we have it down so yeah i haven't watched it back so the stride might have been horrendous i don't know i can't remember but yeah just weird that um i've definitely ridden it where we haven't had bad strides and still had it down so who knows but yeah i'm actually happy i'm just a bit kicking myself um because i think we could have avoided that run out but it is what it is um i have no idea i don't think we i highly doubt we placed anywhere um no i don't think we placed anywhere um but i haven't actually checked to be fair um but yeah it doesn't really matter so now we are just um all guns blazing for the british eventing champs um so literally every weekend we're in the end of january now and the champs are at the end of february on the 25th at aston the walls i've never been i've never qualified i've never been there in any capacity whatsoever so nerve-wracking exciting i'm trying to do all i can to make it a nice day out for us i don't care about how we do in that sense i just want to give it our best shot so um every weekend uh for february we are on some sort of training or outing so we will have loads of footage for you guys i'm going to be much better and on it hopefully you've noticed uh well it's not months since uh, i do something and then get a vlog out so yeah i'll be much better on it but we have after this i just got reminded today because i completely forgot we have an arena eventing clinic with tom crisp so if you saw my show jumping clinics with that five star eventer that was tom um so i'm really interested um and happy that we've got that i forgot that we'd booked it a while ago um so that'll be good that'll be at hickstead i think um and that'll be really beneficial for obviously the champs uh and then after that I have a lesson with um, a new instructor at a new yard. I want to experience how Belle feels again at somewhere she doesn't know because that's going to be a big issue for me at the Champs. Um, so yeah, we will have that. That's with the lady that we had the pole work clinic with, which are probably, I haven't actually made that vlog yet, but I will do. It's just a little short diddy one. Actually, it's not super interesting, um, but it is our journey. And then, oh God, what else? that then i was i haven't fully committed to this but i was planning then to go to an arena eventing competition at a different venue uh we have jumped there actually we show jump there but we haven't arena evented there so again just trying to get that experience in a new place with new jumps and then it will be champs time so yeah i think that's quite enough isn't it bells um but yeah so hopefully um all will go well and we'll be heading off there in about a month's time um but i hope you enjoyed it um obviously hope you like the blue that we were sporting today i oh, i don't know what i'm gonna wear at the champs i need to figure that one out mm. see see what we think but no she was a really good girl she was amazing we were there for such a long time and she was just an absolute saint weren't you girly yeah um yeah so just a little babe and yeah sack the rider a little bit but as i said much more control when we have a little bit more of a twisty course like that it really does work to our favor so other people moaning i'm like no i'm quite happy about it um i'm pretty sure you can see her going to like another gear when we go up the hill she just loves that hill and then when we come down it as well but i'm still pleased that after the jump after the hill i could you know hoik her back and get that um sort of snake a bit after so yeah a lot of improvement i feel um and how it felt to me I, obviously as i said i haven't watched it compared to the last outing that we had so um yeah i'm happy and uh you gonna say bye no right we'll get you your lunch thank you so much for watching please comment like uh let me know anything you want to see don't want to see all those sorts of things and um yeah we will see you for a five-star eventer clinic Thank you.